Hello and welcome to this Craft CMS 3 tutorial series. In this first part, we're just going to cover installing Craft CMS on your machine and getting into the admin panel. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have Composer installed. So with Composer installed, our first command to type in the terminal is Composer create project craft CMS slash craft. And now we're just going to create a name for this project or a directory name. So I'm going to call it craft CMS demo and I will hit enter. And so this will install a new directory for with all everything craft CMS has into my Apache web root. So while that runs, let's go and create a, a blank database for this project. So I'm going to use PHP my admin, but you can use whatever you use to manage your databases. I'll just log in here and I'll go to databases, create a new database. And for the collation, make sure you choose UTF-8 Unicode CI. So I'll select that and press create. Great, so that's all we need to do there. So I'll just open a new tab here and go back to the terminal. Great, we see that CMS has successfully installed. So the next thing we have to do is run the setup. So let's navigate into this new directory. So we'll do CD for change directory, craft CMS demo. And let's take a look at what's inside this directory. So we have this craft executable file. We'll actually use this in a moment to run the setup process. We have a templates directory and a web directory. Now this is the public directory for the CMS project. So if we look at what's in that, you can see there's an index.php file. This is what gets hit first when anyone visits the website. This initiates CMS and routes the visitor to the appropriate template loads all the appropriate data, all that sort of thing. So everything that's public facing will go in the web directory. So this is your style sheets, JavaScript files, your images, etc. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and run the setup process. So we'll do dot slash craft. This is that executable file, and then we'll just run setup. So in my case, I'm going to use MySQL as my database driver. If you're using Postgres, you would choose this one, but I'll just type MySQL. So my database server name is indeed this default 127.0.0.1. Yours might be localhost. So just figure out which one is appropriate for you and type that. I'll use the default. My database port is 3306. Yours might be 8889, so just check that, but I'll leave this the default. I'll enter my database username, which is root, so that's fine, and the password. And the database name is the one we just created, so we called it craft CMS demo, so I'll enter that. We don't need to worry about the database table prefix, so let's skip that by pressing enter. And do we want to install craft now? Yes. So hit enter again. All right. So let's create a user for the admin panel login. We'll leave the username as admin. So we'll press enter, put in your email address and create a password and confirm that new password. Great. Let's give this site a name. I'll call it craft CMS demo. And the site URL is the address that you can use in the uh, browser to get directly to that website. So on my local Apache server here, I know it's going to be this. And then slash the folder name. And then remember, we have to go into that public web directory. So I'll add that on here as well. So you can certainly make this a cooler development domain like mysite.dev or something like that down the line. But for now, this will totally work. So we'll go with this. I'll leave the site language as English US. And that's going to go ahead and create all of the database tables for the project. Great, so it says it installed successfully. Let's take a look in the browser. So localhost craft CMS demo slash web. 
Cool. So here is our website, ready to go. This is just the welcome page, the default home page when you first install Craft. So before we go into the admin panel, I want to note that you might run into some permissions errors. So Craft needs to be able to write to certain directories and files, or PHP to be more specific, needs to be able to write to certain directories and files. So if we look at what's in here, PHP needs to be able to write to the config directory. So if you get an error in the browser that says it couldn't write to the config directory, you have to give PHP permission to do so. That looks different on everyone's system, but for me, I would do something like sudo chown to change the ownership. And I want to do that recursively for everything inside that directory as well. And I would give it the username www because that's what Apache, my Apache server runs as, which PHP runs within. And then I would say config. So this would give Apache and PHP permission to write to this config file to make the changes it needs to. Now, a few other directories it needs access to are the storage directory, as well as the composer JSON file, the composer lock file, and the vendor directory. So just keep that in mind if you run into that error. It's not a big deal. You just have to give it the correct permissions. So let's go back to the browser. You can click this link to get into the admin panel, but actually at any point you can just type slash admin into the address bar here, and you'll get there as well. So the username and password we created were admin and password. So let's log on in. And here we go. We are in the Craft CMS admin panel, ready to start creating content. So that's all for this first video. Thanks for watching.